just took another delivery and this time is the party box 320 Woo. i like the fact that it came with the original box and this matter of fact came from ebay so this is another one of those broken units that i'm gonna be trying to fix i paid about 250 dollars for this uh, around there very cheap compared to the price that it's going for but we're gonna see if we can fix this i love all of these features that it comes up with uh it's got a lot of features i have another one but if I fix this one, I'll have a pair. It's mint. That's what we got in this box. So our battery's there. And yep, that's about it. Battery and our power cord. So let's turn it sideways. Yeah, we got some scrapes in the bottom. A little dirty, but overall, not bad. Very happy. So let's pop this battery in and uh, see what's going on. Because they said this thing does not work. Or it works, sometimes it doesn't. So let's press the power. Ooh, we got power. It boots up. So that's, that's a good thing. Um, I'm going to try to pair it with my phone, and then let's see. Look at that. Now we're going to do, we're going to pair it with our phone right now, just to see what exactly is going on. So let's go to, uh, oh, that's not normal. You see that? Yeah, we definitely have issues. You see it keeps turning off and on, off and on. So yeah, something, something ain't right. But let's hit the Bluetooth button. Oh yeah, I can't get it to go into pairing mode either. Yep, so yeah, definitely, definitely has issues. So our next step is take it apart. We're gonna begin by taking this JBL 320 apart. So first thing, starting with these volume buttons, pry them out. Oh yeah, got the first one. So I put it to the left. Now the play button, same thing. Them over there, and now we're gonna be prying this. I'm trying to be very gentle because uh, this thing is so pretty, very pretty. But we need to get under it. There we go. And the speaker turned on. While we're pulling this out, we got to the side, and you should see two screws right here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull the battery out. That way it doesn't go on while we're doing what we're doing. Now it's gonna be this area that we have to remove that. I'm gonna use a tiny flathead screwdriver just to pry this out. Got one out. Just gonna glue it right here. Second one. And pull out these screws. Two big screws. Put them to the side. Next, you gotta remove this little cover right here. Once you get this cover out, there's some screws in there that needs to be removed, but you need a long screwdriver, Phillips, to get it out. One. Comes the second one. Got them both out. We're gonna put them right next to each other. And then you have some screws right under here on the handle. So you're going to pull out these two little tabs here on each side. And also there's a middle one. I'm going to put them to the side. And there's screws under there. One. Two. And three. 
they're all the same. So I'm gonna keep them right next to each other. Okay, now we're gonna try to pry this out. And this is the part that you gotta be very careful not to damage it. So I'm gonna go under this orange uh, rubber piece and try to create a little space. See that? I just created a little space so I can shove my big screw flathead. There we go. See that? No joke. Same thing. Now you can see the whole thing moving forward. See that? There we go. So you're gonna go all the way around, all the way around, and slowly prying it out almost equally. Yeah. Because it's such a nice unit, you don't want to damage it, right? So you want to keep doing that. Okay. Almost there. And we're going to continue to pry it up. And we want to make sure there's some cables that are plugged there. We want to make sure those cables don't get damaged. But like I said, this is not an easy thing to do. There we go. As you can see, as soon as I did that, this cable popped right out, which is fine. It got disconnected. But there we go. Here we have it. And this one came out pretty clean, but you can see these things, um, they all go in, in there. So you kind of have to try to pry it out perfectly in order not to create any damage. So we got our board and that's what we're going to be working on because we believe there's a liquid damage or some type of issue with this board. But before I do so, I want to inspect the rest of the unit up here. I want to see if I see any issues here. Also reconnect this cable here. It looks fine. So... This design is very similar to the other potty boxes. Very, very similar. So let's plug this back there. Okay. Okay, so I got that, got that plugged back in there. Looks good. And I'm inspecting the rest of the unit. Don't see, don't see any issues. Kind of looks fine. Uh, now I'm gonna take this apart. So let's draw this to the side. And we want to inspect the board. So this board looks super clean. I don't see nothing wrong with it at all. Um, so because of that, I'm going to go ahead and try to take this out. shot and very careful as you can see it's got an antenna attached right back there so we don't want to mess that up but let's put this right here now we want to inspect this board this board also looks good since we're unable to figure out what's wrong with this unit it keeps rebooting keeps restarting we are going to open my other 320 and we're going to be testing just the top controls because I believe I believe it's this board. But to narrow it down, we're going to take this out. We're going to test it over there. So let's begin taking this apart. Okay, so here's what I've done. I've swapped the top board from that one to this one, vice versa. So now we're going to test. We want to make sure. So let's pop the battery in. Battery's in. Same thing. Battery's in. So what we're going to do is we're going to test to see if the problem is this control board here which is in the top. So both speakers are going on right now. We're gonna see which one does a restart. Okay, so far, so far they're both good. Both are good. Oh, this one just restarted. So this proves the point. Look, this is still good. No issues with the top control module. That means this whole top piece on both speakers are good. That brings us into the rest of the board. So yes, so there you go. These two other boards, the power board and this motherboard, which is the main board, that's what we're going to look at next because now we feel that's where the problem is. Um, I can always swap one of those two boards around 
just to see if I continue to have a problem, but this problem is board related. So let's uh, continue to troubleshoot, but right now, I'm gonna swap them back. Okay, now we're uh, going to remove this board. I already pulled out all the screws. Uh, we're gonna see if we can just pull it right out. Yep, and everything's disconnected. And we just gotta be careful with this little antenna here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna remove it, unglue it. But we're just gonna let it dang. So let's go inspect this under the microscope. Under the microscope, this thing looks good. I checked both sides, don't see any visible issues. Which brings you to the next thing is troubleshooting. Uh, we're gonna have to troubleshoot it. Oh, I see a little, not sure if that fell out of there. But um, yes, we're gonna continue our testing. We pulled out the one from the left speaker and now we're gonna test this board on this speaker that was having issues. We wanna see if that is the problem. So let's put this in place. Okay, the board has been set up and now we are ready for that test, but let's put the top cover first and then we can test. Top cover has been installed. Pop the battery in and let's go for that power test. That's gonna let us know if the board, that board is the issue or not. Let's see. So far I see the light change, which means that board programs and it saves the light information. So the settings that I had on that one, now is on this side because of that motherboard, uh, I guess keeps that information. But so far guys, it's working great. I've not seen it reboot, has now restarted. Yep. Gonna keep an eye on it for another second, but yeah, this thing seems to be good. Seems to be really, 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 really good. Which now tells me that the problem is the board that was on this one, which um, I have it right back here. Yep, this is our culprit. This is where the problem lies. And now we gotta figure it out. If we can't figure it out, we would have to order one of these boards. But Okay, so since I couldn't find a problem with this board, um, I'm kind of doing almost like a reflow, but using the soldering iron, I'm going to touch up a lot of these components, especially these uh, these chips, because um, I feel like it's one of these chips that's misbehaving. Could be a soldering issue, uh, something not really connecting properly. So uh, I'm starting with this one, first one, U25. I'm going to touch up all of those pins and also all of the capacitors around it or resistors. I'm going to touch up everything on that area. Also, U24 doing the exact same thing. And U26 as well. All of those pins and all of the capacitors around it. Next, this resistor right next to Q16. That resistor didn't look so well, so I also did a little resoldering on that resistor. Also right here, XP13. I found a little bit of solder kind of crossing over, touching each other especially in between these two. There was a little bit of solder just touching. I cleaned it up and I also tried to test the continuity in that area and uh, it doesn't appear like they're all connected and they should be touching each other. I don't think that has any anything to do with anything but I cleaned it up anyway and I got them all clean. Uh, literally I went over this entire board under the microscope. Can't find nothing wrong. I tested a bunch of diodes, capacitor, resistors. I, I am at a loss and there's no manuals. There's no service repair manuals for this so there's really no other solution, but I did find one on sale. So check it out. AliExpress has this board for sale, $206. I added it to my cart. I'm not gonna check out yet, but I'm just gonna look at it, see how much uh, it would cost. Okay, let's see, promo code, I don't have any. Uh, activate, okay. So shipping is not much, $7, $208, that's not bad. So if I can't, if I can't fix this, I'm going to order this one from AliExpress and that hopefully will solve this issue. But look at the shipping date. So I'm looking at about two weeks waiting period. Anyway, let's go test this and see if we have to order a new one or not. So first, I'm going to put this back together because I don't want these parts running around. Uh, especially since we know what the problem is. We know this is the, the issue. So this is my good one, which I know is working perfectly fine. So yeah, let's put this back together. Okay, we are good with this. Can plug the battery in and just make sure that this is back to normal. Let's make sure it's good, it's working. Okay, that's a plus. Light staying on. We are good. Bluetooth is on. Okay, let's put this away. Okay, now this one. We're gonna test this board. See if, if we got lucky or not.
I just want to do another test. Um, ooh, Abby's already in. Hold on, let's plug. plug. Okay, so let's do another test and see if we, if what the work we did um, helped with anything. Let's see if it's gonna boot up again, because it keeps restarting itself. So that's how you know that the lights look a little different this time. Huh? Wow. It has not continuously reboot. Yeah, the, the lights look different. Different. Let me see if I can pair up. Oh yes. <laughs> Celebration time. Wow. Holy smoke. So I don't know which of those chips in that area, those SMD chips, I don't know which of those four different things you're gonna see in a video. I don't know which one of those that I touched that solved this issue, but those are the things that I did. If I ever have a similar problem, I will try one of the things at a time, one at a time. But one of them fixed my speaker. Look, it's no longer going crazy. This thing is back. Wow. I'm so happy. I do not have to order that board anymore. Uh, this is amazing, man. I am so, I'm so speechless that, yeah, let's go ahead and pair it up on my phone. So let's go to Bluetooth. Uh, let's see. Let's find this party box. 320 right there. Let's connect. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Guys, we are back to normal. I'm going to keep the volume very, very, very low. I'm just going to play anything. Yep. Allow, studio, yep, whatever. Let's just play anything. Anything out of YouTube, play. Right, guys, see. today's video is going to be about when you're sync. Guys, I don't have to go any further into this. This speaker is fixed 100%. Let's power it off so I can put everything back together. But, yes. Ah. Okie dokie. Just finished putting this one back together. We're gonna turn it on. I'm actually gonna turn them both on. Let's see, let's see. This still makes a sound. This doesn't make a sound because I disabled the sound on the app. This one, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the app and disable that sound. I'm gonna show you guys what sound I'm talking about because it's a very annoying sound. So let's find JBL Party Box. And this one is gonna be the 320 stage. Boom. Oh, I can't wait to pair these, these together too. Okay, it's connecting. Let's wait for it to go on. Yep, yep. Stereo, man. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. Go ahead. Pair them both together. One one is going to be left and the other one is going to be right. This is pretty cool. Okay, so the right one is green. Yep, next. Okay. I like this. It's going to group these two together. They're going to be into a party mode group. There you go. Look at them. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So, yeah, having two of these, you could do some amazing light show and some amazing grouping. Yep, confirm. Yep, correct. So, yeah, that's done. That's beautiful. But I still wanted to control the right one. I wanted to disable the the sound that it makes. I don't really like that sound. Uh, I don't think I could do it while it's in this mode. Uh, I would have to pick them individually. Also, I have to remove all these other party boxes that I no longer have. Yeah, so I'll do that another time just to disable. There's a software update. Eh, I don't know if I should do it. A lot of people say they did a software update and it messed up their speaker, right? So I'm going to leave it alone for now. I don't want to do this update at the moment. I'm going to do more reading about it before I decide to update. But guys, these two speakers are all set, especially this one that I had just purchased recently that was not working now. I mean, look how beautiful they are. Tomorrow, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them into a serious test, nice and loud during daytime. But for now, we're going to end this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I hope I'm able to help some of you out there that's having the same problem. It was not an easy repair.